Good morning, YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> we are um, still in our pajamas. We haven't been up for very long. Uh, the clicking you hear over there is the is the rocking horse. We're just hanging out in the playroom and playing. Um, Hudson got his fingers stuck in the door, so he's sitting with me. But um, this is going to be my 36-week pregnancy update. Um, this week, of, it, again, it's just been too chaotic. I don't even want to mess with my video camera, which I have to do because... I need it ready for when the baby's born, but it's kind of been an eventful pregnancy week. Um, Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember. Um, that was when my week switched over. Um, my midwife called, which we didn't we didn't have an appointment this week. Um, normally, I would be meeting with her weekly, but we did not meet because um, she was out of town. She was going on a cruise. Uh, with some family and friends yeah, or something. Dad. Excuse me, which was totally fine with me. I wow. knew I wasn't having a baby this week, and even if I was, we wouldn't be delivering it at home because I'm not considered full term yet. Well, anyway, she called, and they couldn't get on the cruise, get on the ship, because um, someone in their party didn't have the correct documentation, so like a passport issue or something. I'm not really sure. So they had to reschedule it for the week... Whatever week ends on August the 8th. So that ends up being my 38th week. So she was calling to make sure that I was okay with that. Um, which I'm okay. Her backup that, that she's going to let me use is about an hour away. And um, it's really cool because her this other midwife um, that will be the backup was actually uh, my friend Megan's midwife, and I got to meet her at birth boot camp training. So, um, so yeah, so I like have kind of a rapport with her and know her, and so I'm totally fine. Like if the baby came, then like I'm totally fine with the midwife situation. But that happened, and then um, well, my back has just been killing me. I mentioned last week that my back and hips have been just unbearable. And so I finally went to the chiropractor on Wednesday morning and my lower back was too swollen for him to really be able to do anything. So I had to go home and um, put ice on it. Be careful. I had to uh, put ice on it and um, go back the, the next day. So yesterday was Thursday and I went back yesterday at 4.45 and I was able to get adjusted. And <laughs> let me just say that I, I don't know what I expected, but I did not anticipate um, such a jerk of a movement to, I guess, to line things up. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't expecting a to go in and get a massage. I'd never been to the chiropractor before. But anyway, I like made a very audible groan. <laughs> it kind of knocked the wind out of me. But um the night that I had put the ice on, um, I slept miserably. I was in so much pain. Like, I was half asleep but crying, and Micah would have to wake me up like, Are you okay? What's wrong with you? I slept so bad. And then um, last night, I was kind of preparing myself for the same thing because the chiropractor said, like, sore muscles, you know, from being moved around and everything from the adjustment. It, I, I would probably be hurting somewhat. Like, kind of like how you would after a workout. And, um, uh, I was sore, but it was nothing like the agony I've been in. So, um, that helped so, so, so much. And I am going back on Monday, and then hopefully things will, will still look, will look better, I guess. And, um, I'll keep going probably weekly until the baby comes. Um, I'm sorry this update is kind of late. Um, like I said, I my weeks turned over on Monday, but um, we've had some hangups with our house. You'll have to go and look at my last house update video. Um, but again, we, we had setbacks, and I, every time I attempted to make a video, then I was I would cry because I was so upset about it. But um. I'll do a separate update on the house, but it, things are looking up, I guess, with it. Um, I don't know. It's been just ups and downs with that stupid house. I'm so frustrated, but um, 
Yeah, that's been the main focus this week. I can't believe that in just a few days I'll be 37 weeks. It's crazy. I, I can't believe it. And I haven't done any preparation. I still need to order the liner for um, the birth pool, so I need to do that today. Um, and yeah, my birth supplies, most of those I'm going to be buying from my midwife. I'm just going to get the kit because it's just easiest. Um, gosh, I'm ready to get in the house so I can just get organized and comfortable and not feel like I'm in such a limbo. Right now, I'm kind of pretending that I'm not having a baby in a few weeks. It's it's not going to happen. I still, I'm telling myself I still have a month, even though I probably don't really have a month. But if I do have a month, then that makes me happy. But um, that's it. That's the update for this week. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say love you. Oh, you're just going to be my sweet boy. He's so sweet. So here, here's the belly. You can't really see it. It's a big belly. There it is. Is that our baby? Is that our baby? So, yep, I'm I'm just growing. Oh, and last night, every night, or every pregnancy I've ever had, I have crazy round ligament pain at this time in bed. Like, when I roll over, it's excruciating. None of it last night. None of it. It felt so nice. I had some insomnia last night. There were three hours I was up, but I did not have round ligament pain, and my back wasn't, like, excruciating, so I was happy. So I am already a huge proponent of the chiropractor. So, anyway, that's it uh, for this week. Um, I'll update everybody again soon. Bye.